Hello, you sexy biscuits. The most requested thing I get asked on my channel is how to install mods. So today, I am going to show you some of my favorite mods and also how to install them into the game. Thankfully, Warhorse Studios is incredibly welcoming to mods and modding in general. So this game is going to be extremely awesome when it comes to mods in the future. But right now, there are some quite simple mods that are already out only after two weeks of the game being released. So if you come over to Nexus Mods, you guys can see we've got hot mods, we've got more mods, we've got most popular 30 days, popular all time, more trending, the list goes on. There are currently 233 mods on this website, which I think is absolutely ridiculous, seeing the game hasn't been out that long. So today I'm going to show you a couple of the mods that I personally use and how to install them. Also, the performance mod that I showed you a couple of episodes ago has been my most requested on how to actually install it, so I'm going to show you that as well. Going through the list here, it's ridiculous just how many mods are on here. I mean, I, I come on here every day, I have a bookmark saved, and just looking through all of these, it's incredible. I've seen a lot of faces coming up recently. There seems to be a big influx of new faces for Henry, which is just a bit weird. One of my favorite things is game saves. If you maybe have accidentally deleted your game save, like one of my subscribers has, then you can come here and download different game saves. And these can be from the start of the game or after the prologue with all of the items or the DLC items. If you just want to start the game after the prologue, that is absolutely great and the option is definitely there. So the first mod up today is unlimited saving. I think personally, this is my most important mod. This is the mod that I think everyone needs to go and get. This will allow you to basically save the game on the fly straight whenever you want. You don't need any save your snaps and it just makes the game that little bit more welcoming, I suppose. But of course, this mod is completely optional. You could continue saving with your Savior Snaps, and if you want to do that, that's absolutely fair enough. But personally, I kind of enjoy being able to just save whenever I need to. So what you need to do is come to the top of the page and click Manual Download. That will then open this page, which is the Files page, and you can then choose which version you want. Personally, I use No Snaps version, so if we go to Manual Download, it'll pop up, and then it will start downloading at the bottom of our screen. So you open up the WinRAR file that you just got and you obviously need WinRAR or some other form of file zip opener. So I'll leave the link in the description below for WinRAR. So what you see here is a pack file. This is gonna go into your data folder. In the description of any mod, it should also tell you how to install it. So by just following these simple instructions, you can install it pretty easily. Go to where your game is installed, open up data, and here you go. You just literally drag and drop the pack file. So you drag drop straight in there it's going to come up with this for me because i already have the file and you can replace but of course this won't come up for you because of course you don't have the file yet so as you can see that was incredibly easy and it's, it's a lot easier than a lot of other games to mod personally i love how easy it is to mod this so possibly my most requested video to do was to obviously talk about how to install this mod the optimized graphics preset it's one of my most popular videos and i'm so grateful for you guys this Mod is easy, thankfully. I was kind of worried at first. It seemed kind of difficult. So we're gonna do the same as we did last time, hit manual. So this is what's inside the zip folder. Make sure to go to data, drag and drop this pack file straight into your data folder. Then open up optimize graphics presets. Inside you'll find user config and readme. Now personally, I would go ahead and read the readme file. This will give you a quick description of what to find inside this folder and also how to do it yourself. Personally, this is, uh, this is quite an easy step to remember, so make sure to look at this before doing anything. Now, personally, I already have a user config in my own root folder, so what I'm gonna do here is open up this user config and then I can copy and paste all of this into my user config file, which is found in your Kingdom Come Deliverance main folder, whether it's on Steam or not. Open up your user config, and then just copy and paste this into your config file, save and close. Right click on Kingdom Come Deliverance, go to Properties, go to General, and then hit Set Launch Options. And in here, you want to type plus exec, space user dot cfg and that's it 
That's literally all you have to do. Do that and it will force your system to read your user config file. And that basically means that as soon as you're in the game, you can then start pressing F1, F2 to change your different quality presets. So we're now on the main menu and I can show you what happens if I was to press F1. And as you guys can see, that's a pretty big difference. So that definitely worked. And that's it. That's literally all you have to do. Modding in this game is extremely easy and I recommend everyone go and check out the Nexus mods. Unfortunately, this is not, of course, compatible with Xbox One and PS4. I don't think they're going to be bringing mods to those consoles. Let's hope one day they might um so if you're watching this warhor studios wink wink come on nudge nudge come on um hopefully they do but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial if you did make sure to leave a like please go and subscribe to my channel if you did and i'm gonna just look deep into this unoptimized textualist world that i've created <laughs> anyway love you guys thanks for watching but until next time that's me out bye guys